In this video, I am going to teach you how to create a website on Adobe Express. So the process of creating a website has gone simple thanks to Adobe Express. So I'm going to guide you through the step-by-step -step process on how you can do that. So the first thing that you need to do is to open Adobe Express and your device and you can do so by clicking the link or using the link that I have in the description below. So then once you are in the home page of Adobe Express, what you need to do is to click on to the plus icon situated on the upper left corner of your screen and on the search bar, what you need to do is to type in page and select this from the results. So then this page will appear. What you can do is to select different themes that you can use depending on the theme of your website. But for the purposes of this video, let us create it from scratch. Hence, you are going with create from scratch button situated on the bottom part of your screen. And then this is how you will start creating your website. So now you can start by adding a title for your web page. So you just need to simply click on to the title field and type in your headline. I'm just going to name it as sample web page. So just don't mind the content of it. And you can even add a subtitle if you want to. And you can also add a header image by clicking on to this plus button right here and choosing photo from the option. So you can utilize photos from the Adobe Express's photo library, but you can also upload it from your local device. So I'm not going to do that now. Instead, I'm going to select from the Adobe Express photo library. So I'm just going with this one. It's a sample image. And there you go. And now it is time to add your content. So just simply click on to this plus icon or you can just scroll down here in your screen or scroll down your screen and you'll be able to see the different elements that you can add to your web page as a content. So first you also again you have photo and then you can also add text, buttons, GIF, videos, photo grid, slideshow, split show or split layout rather and your own stuff from your local file. But for now, I'm going to go with a text. Don't worry because we are going to cover each of this element. So for now, we are going with text. So for the text, you can write it however you, you want. Or you can write whatever you want that you feel like it is in need for your website. So I'm just going with one with nature. There you go. And you can customize the layout or the format of your text by clicking on to these options that you have. So you can go for header one, header two. You can make it a quote. You can make it a bullet form. Number it if you want to change the text of it, italicize it, and you can also attach a link to it if you want to. So for now, I'm going to stick with header 2 there you go so i'm just going to add more content and for this one we are going with the button option so this is very helpful if you need to link to another page so you can add a button so again just simply click onto this plus button and select but from the option and then add the button text if you want to so for example you want to link your instagram profile facebook page or a video you can basically add anything right here and paste the link for that content so for example i want to link my youtube channel so i'm just going to do that again don't worry about or don't mind the content of my website as this is for just demo purposes so i'm going with youtube.com and make it center save it there you go and you can also edit the button if you want to so now for the next one let us go with a gif so you can embed different gif on this part make sure to save it then just paste the link for the gif hit save there you go as you can see i already have added a gif here in my website and now let us go with video so you can also add link from or uploaded on your adobe express video or youtube video or vimeo for now i'm going to link a youtube video so this is just a sample video in my youtube channel so again just don't mind the content 
Now for the next one, photo grid. So this allows you to add different photos or multiple photos in your website. And you can add whatever photos that you'd like to add in here. So you can select multiple photos. There you go. Add that and it will be expressed with automatically layout or edit those photos for you. So once you are satisfied with what you have, just hit the save button and that will be displayed on your website. Now for the glide show, this is actually pretty perfect because then for the background of your website, you can use photo slideshow again for your background. So I'm just going to show you what that will look like. So I'm just going to select multi multiple photos for, from the Adobe stock. So I'm just going to select a few. And if you want to change the location or the arrangement of the photos, you can use that or by you can click this arrow to move that specific photo or you can move it down or you can replace it and even delete it. Now I'm just going to hit save and this is what my website currently looks like. So as you can see, the background of it is a glide show. So there you go. Now for the next item here in my website, we can add a split layout. So you can add image on the left side and you can add photo, text, button, or whatever content that you'd like to add on the right side part. So for now, let us try to add image and for the right part, we are going to add text. So just like that and again you can change the outline or the format of the text so i'm just going to add it as a quote and change the alignment of it so there you have it i have added a split layout photo grid video gif a button and as well as a text on my web page and then now once you have finished your content you can hit this review button which is represented by this eye icon right here so just click onto it and then you'll have a preview of your website so then if you are happy with it you can go ahead and publish it by clicking on to the share button and select publish to web from the downward menu so click on to publish to web and then you can change the title of it. So I'm just going with a sample website again. You can even add credits if you want to select the author. If you want to display the author, you can toggle it on. And if you want others to allow or to remix it, you can toggle this on and even add password protection if you want to. So then if you're okay with it, hit create link. And now you can change or you can paste that link whatever you'd like and make your website open to the public or available to the public so that is it that is all that you need to do for you to be able to create a website in adobe express so then again you can use the link that i have in the description down below for you to be able to access adobe express thank you so much for watching and make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one have a great day